little thing here, but I noticed it right off the bat. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'll be doing a reaction to the VG song Voices, recommended to me by Escorpio Omega. I hope I got that right. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Sweet voices calling Oh 
Okay, um, good song, good song. I don't dislike this song. I'm not gonna put this on my very, very, very favorites list. But here's what I would say, just me just speaking out loud from my mind here. Um, this isn't like a song that I would necessarily like listen to and intently listen to. Like it's not like, like I wouldn't sit on my computer and be like, oh, I need to, I, I need to listen to the song voices. It, it's more like something like, I would be like in a pondering mood and I would be like, oh, I'll play this song and I play that song and I would like clean my room or something. That's that's kind of how I see this song, to be honest. Um, very perfect for that sort of situation. Uh, for after get go, um, I, I mean, I can tell it's a earlier BG song. It's not from the disco era, which is my favorite era. Um, number two, there's a lot of like stacking. He slowly, they slowly stack throughout. I feel like they stack throughout this first verse and then they get to the second verse and kind of everybody's already in. The whole band is in at that point. And then the third verse is this repeat of the second verse uh, is what it looks like to me. And then it goes to the end from from there. Um, overall, just the, the way that the, the pieces are put together, I really like how it's put together. I Now I'm biased. I really like old school music or you know these like 60s 70s 80s music it's very simple to follow i'm a very simple person um all right so let's skip over the album there it comes from the mr natural album and uh in this album i have done reactions to mr natural um i can't let you go throw a penny charade uh and now voices so I, I have a few more to go on this one. This, this album has been overall very enjoyable. I can definitely say that. Um, Mr. Natural is the Bee Gees' 12th album, 10th worldwide, released in July of 1974. It was the first Bee Gees release to be produced by Arif Martin, who was partially responsible for launching the group's later major success with the follow-up album, Main Course. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Reception Mr. Natural generated no global hits, but represented an important step in the BG evolution. The album shows a strong Philadelphia soul influence in tracks like Throw a Penny, or others include Mr. Natural. Uh, you know, and, and kind of once I'm done with all these albums, I like to go through and kind of just listen through them, like chronologically, to kind of just feel and see that that evolution, as it mentions here, with the BG sound. Um, and it still continues with Barry today. and He's gone all the way back to country now. Uh, anyways, let's check out some parts here. And as always, let's start from the beginning here. I like guitar intros and I like uh, piano intros. Sounds fantastic, Robin. All right, next. Little thing here, but I noticed it right off the bat. That right there, you hear that? Uh, triangle. Now, I know that doesn't matter to you, most guys, most people. I like it though. Um, I have to admit that when I'm listening to music or when I am in a musical group, which I haven't been forever, um, just hearing those little things as you're there as a musician, uh, it's really nice to hear that the rhythm section has just these little parts here with all this little, you know, like you'll look back there and they got this big desk and it's all laid out. And they have like all those different instruments and they're like waiting and they pick up this one, they pick up this one, they pick up this one. I don't really like progression, but I think it's really cool that as I play, I can hear and it's like, directionally like i expect certain sounds from certain spots after i've you know performed a song so many times but uh that's a random thing all right next okay they do this this duty da and this na 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 type thing throughout and i think it has a good effect <clears throat> like it's incoherent like i don't understand what's going on or what they're saying but it kind of moves the song on you know Yeah, I, I and, and this is just my personal thing. For me, definitely not a song I would like purposely listen to. Definitely on that that idea of oh, I would just be like cleaning my room and in deep thought, pondering, and I would listen to this song next. All right, slowly builds here. Oh shoot, wrong spot. <laughs> All 
See, you got the guitar there. We've got the little strings here. I don't know what that instrument is. I can't tell. But it sounds good. God, what is that? <laughs> oh, okay, so here we go. Let's repeat, and we are in the third first which is a repeat of the second verse from what it looks like to me. All right, next. All right, let's listen to the end here. All right, so like I said, this is definitely like that mood type music. I, I think for me, I would definitely, like when I feel like pondering, I would play this music and kind of clean up my room. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like sometimes, <laughs> I feel like sometimes, like I, I imagine my life as a movie, you know, and there's like a certain theme song for certain things, you know, whether you're clean or you're angry, you may listen to some heavy metal or something like that. But this is definitely like if I was pondering something very deep, I would I would definitely play this song, throw my earphones, and just start cleaning my house. Um, anyways, uh, nice song. Uh, like I said, a lot of little things, little details here, and I love how they stack it in that first verse all the way to to kind of make it full, and then kind of just like fade away here near the end. These nanas and these doodas or whatever, um, I haven't really heard anything anytime where they've used that that much, but they've done a great job of it. Uh, even though it's incoherent, it does a nice job of kind of bobbing things along. Not driving it along, but just kind of bobbing things along is what I would say. Anyways, that's my thoughts on this one. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already done so. I'm, I'm almost to a million and uh, subs, and I will see you guys in the next video.